Hey guys, welcome back to The Poor Investor. Today I'm just going to go through my current GPU mining rig, 7 cards, and how I have them all set up. Now I'm still tinkering with some of the cards. As you can see, each one is giving a different or averaging around the same hash rate between high 29 and up until the 32. Now I can't control each card as much as I would like to, even though... They are from the same manufacturing. At least half of them are from the same manufacturer. Four cards that are from Gigabyte 6600 XTs and the other three cards are from XFX. Now, even though they all are identical in chipset as far as the 6600 XTs, but as I'm configuring them as a standalone single profile, they all come out with different hash rates. Now, that could be a combination of things when it was built, what chips they were using, and also, I guess, the position of possibly if the fan is directly on it or not. So, of course, you know, parts being built with these GPUs are just constantly ever-changing, meaning they could use different parts, different chips, different fans, whatever the case is. But right now, on average, I am getting a good you know decent hash rate as you can see here i'm just going to point out some of the details that i have and i want to really thank one of my subscribers for pointing out that this hw i believe it was coming up as hardware errors and a lot uh, two of my cards were not producing great hash rate on the pool and it was really low like on the single digits now you can actually see, I'm, just, I'm gonna let it scroll because if you try to catch this thing by moving the scroll button on this screen, it doesn't come out that great. So let me just go over really quick. I usually line them up on the application on the AMD Radeon application. You can match it up by the voltage that is currently on and the, under the VDDC, you can actually match up with the power as well. So you can know, you know which card is which because it doesn't always line up from what I understand or what I've been trying to see if I can actually line them up, but they don't. So GPU 0 all the way to GPU 6, that's 7 cards. Here you can see what it's producing as far as the hash rate, the average hash rate, and what's being reported onto the pool. And then these were accepted challenges, and these are the rejected ones. I think it's called accepted challenges, that's what the A stands for and the R is rejected. And then of course the hardware HW, someone said hash rate, but that didn't make sense, it's, it's HW. So it's hardware, I believe that's hardware error. So right now it's actually good that I have zero, they're all zeros. So here you can actually see the temperature. Most of them are in the range of what I want it to be. And especially now in the winter time, it's pretty cold out. So let's just take this one for example. This is what my current setting is. Let's go the team red minor side. You can see GPU zero all the way to six but in the amd radeon software it starts with gpu one so that alone doesn't line up already but it's not one for one it's not like zero equals one and one equals two it's pretty random and i believe i even lined it up on the motherboard accordingly but it still doesn't come out the way i want it to be so let's just take this one for example you can see the voltage here is 900 and the temperature is 59 and the the current consumption is around 77 to 78 now i had to up tuning of the memory and this is where most of the hash rate is coming from which is the memory of the gpus not so much the processor and here you can see that's why i lowered the processors all the way down to 82. i believe for me that is the sweet spot so far because if i put it lower i believe i lose you know a percentage of my hash rate and if i put it too high it doesn't really make that much of a difference so it seems to me like 82 has been the sweet spot for the 6600 xts so let's go and see which one is running at 900 volts and 78 watts. I'm just gonna take a quick snip of this because it's probably gonna be easier to monitor and read the configurations opposed to just trying to keep up with the scrolling of this Team Red Miner. So we have it here, let's do this. And that's awesome. So we have that, let's pull up the software again. Now what I usually have to do, and maybe you guys can tell me, uh, so I have to match the wattage so that's 78 and it's at 900 volts, right? The clock speed is at, well, the temperature is at 60. So what I usually do is I hit it here. So this is equivalent. Well, actually this one works out, uh, kind of corresponds to one. What I normally do is once I get a, a working config, I would save it, which is here. I save a profile and I go to, I just leave it on my desktop. 
And I'll show you really quick how I have it on my desktop. I have a whole bunch of tuning files, you know, profiles for each card or each setting that I make. I could always revert back to a particular setting. But right now, from across the board on all the cards, 82 processor, right? On 82 on the megahertz and also setting the memory. That's the only one that I've been playing around with more which is like I fluctuate between 105, 106, 107, and I'm just increasing it incrementally to see if I can get a better hash rate. So far, it's been pretty stable like this. It's been at least a good couple of days now. I haven't encountered any issues. I know some guys may look at the wattage for the 6600 and say, wow, that's still pretty high. I agree as well. And I probably can bring that down a, a tad more by playing with the processor. Now, what I did notice on the voltage side is I want to leave it at 100%. I tried 99, I tried, nine, I, bring, I tried bringing down the percentage of the voltage and it just wasn't that stable. It, it basically is giving more power, it, in my opinion, helps it a lot more. And then depending on how much it actually uses from the percentage of this max frequency and the memory usage of it i believe it's better that way than trying to minimize the voltage and not over tax the voltage because i think once that happens that's when the software or the card just craps out and i have encountered where on the team rep miner it will tell me that one of the cards is dead you know that's a scary note but I, and I don't have that right now, but it, it'll tell you that it's dead and it can't restart because it's not in the script to force it to restart. So what I normally have to do is close out the application and then come back into it after looking into the card that it suggested or said that it's dead and I make the adjustments. Either I load a lower profile or as I'm monitoring it, I made the change recently, I will just back it back down or lower the memory consumption or whatever it is that I made the changes to. So right now, everything's seems to be intact and very stable. My total wattage on the mining rig right now is about 760 watts, which is not too bad considering my PSU that I purchased from Parallel Miner is a 1200 watt, but using a 110 produces about 900 watts. I'm still below that. I've been checking the cables to make sure that nothing is overheating. You know, these are 6600 XTs. There's nothing compared to like the 3080s and the 3090s as far as the consumption of, of power and how much more heat they generate. I, I'm actually pretty pleased with the 6600 XTs. I don't regret buying them. I think they're great cards, low voltage, and they're producing a decent amount. As time goes on, new cards come out and these will be obsolete one day. But, but we'll see how that works out but right now this this is how my settings are for the most part all these cards are in a line of 82 max frequency between 105 106 107 maybe even 108 i've gone as high as 111 and that's when it became really unstable let me just go down the list really quick so this is gpu 3 now and you can see you know this is at 75 watts so what i normally try to do is you see how these little gauges i try to keep it below the midway meaning on the, uh, the lower half not so much exceeding the halfway point and on so like, of course here, this one 62 is, is a little high. I may need to play around with that. You know, the clock speed is a little high as well. And you can see the memory consumption here. This one is 105. So this one is this taxing a lot more, even though it has a lower setting. So that's what I try to figure out, things like that. And then of course I compare it back to the team red miner to make sure like, why is that card setting so low and what kind of hash rate is it producing? Is it producing more or is it producing less, right? So this one is, GPU 4, you can see it's more or less pretty similar. And this, but this one is at 108 memory consumption, while well, percentage wise, 108% on the, the VRAM. And that's how I have it right now. But you can see this one, the temperature is a lot lower than, than the other one. Now, so, so this is, let's just take in the comparison. GPU 4 is at 39 Celsius and 44 on the junction temperature. But if I go back to number three, you see the difference between why is this one so much higher when they're both set the same way, right? That's the type of tinkering that I've been trying to modify. But right now, like I said, I feel really comfortable with this current setup. And of course, I'm still very, very small increments and changes. So I don't screw anything up. And so I don't have to stop and restart the miner again. And that's where I am right now. Hopefully you guys, you know, 
took this and and can learn something from it because I certainly did. You know, videos like this out there on YouTube definitely helped me. And that's why I'm contributing. All right. I want to thank you guys for being here and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.